Drew, what causes irregular periods for women with PCOS? Uh, there was a study done not too long ago, maybe last year or 2017, and it said, and it was basically, um, what, what's, what's the symptom that affects you the most? So it surveyed thousands of women with PCOS. So the first symptom was weight issues, the second symptom was irregular periods, and the third symptom was like infertility or subfertility. So irregular periods is something that a lot of women with PCOS really struggle with. And if you don't understand the menstrual cycle, you don't understand how PCOS affects that, especially then if you're trying to fall pregnant too, then it's gonna make you feel lost and absolutely confused. So you have to understand, right? Regular periods, or we're talking about the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle relies on an incredibly delicate balance of hormones. And the hormones are specifically luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, they're two hormones produced by the brain, estrogen and progesterone, which are hormones there produced by the ovaries. So it's those four hormones working in balance and tandem that will create a regular menstrual cycle. But as we always say, PCOS is a collection of hormonal imbalances. So if you need a delicate hormonal balance for a regular menstrual cycle, but PCOS at its core is hormonal imbalances, you can see the issue there. So generally speaking, what we're looking at is insulin resistance. So insulin resistance causes high insulin levels. Those high insulin levels will cause your ovaries to overproduce testosterone, or what's called androgens, male sex hormones, and that interferes with the menstrual cycle. Too much testosterone causes too much luteinizing hormone, which at the start of your cycle, your follicle stimulating hormone needs to be higher. I've made a long video about this on my YouTube channel. So if you wanna go check that out about how the menstrual cycle works, go check it out. But basically the high testosterone interferes with the start of the menstrual cycle, which will have compounding effects so the menstrual cycle just isn't there. So that's the reason that PCOS affects the menstrual cycle is it's just, it throws your delicate hormonal balance out of whack. And specifically high insulin, high androgen or high testosterone levels are interfering with hormones that are vitally important for the menstrual cycle. If you're trying to fall pregnant at the moment or if you're just trying to regulate your menstrual cycle because it's very important for your overall health that you do have a regular menstrual cycle, as I'm always saying, understand the triggers because then you can create solutions. So if the triggers is insulin resistance and high insulin levels causing high testosterone levels, then they're the things you must fix. So your course of action will be do everything you can to improve your insulin sensitivity. And that will be through diet, regular exercise, and being super smart with your supplementation. That will regulate your insulin levels and that will help to reduce your testosterone levels. And that will help to regulate your menstrual cycle. So your menstrual cycle is negatively affected by these hormonal imbalances. Balance those hormones regulate your cycle.